Welcome to our comparison video where we explore the debate between client cutting and conventional cutting techniques. CNC routers have revolutionized the woodworking and manufacturing industries offering precise cutting, carving and shaping capabilities. In this video, we delve into the differences, benefits and considerations of client cutting and conventional cutting on a CNC router. Now, let's get started. Climb cutting, also known as upcut milling, is a technique where the cutting tool moves in the same direction as the rotation of the tool. Let's explore some key aspects of climb cutting. Chip removal. In climb cutting, the cutting tool engages the material with an upward motion, allowing the chip to be pulled out of the cut. This results in better chip removal and reduces the chances of chip recutting, leading to smoother cuts and improved surface finish. Cutting forces. Climb cutting generates less cutting force compared to conventional cutting. This can be advantageous when working with delicate materials or when minimizing stress on the CNC router spindle and other components. Directional stability. Climb cutting provides enhanced directional stability as the cutting forces tend to push the workpiece against the machine's fence or jig. This can be beneficial when machining small or integrate parts that require tight tolerance. In contrast to climb cutting, conventional cutting, also known as downcut milling, involves the cutting tool moving against the rotation of the tool. Let's examine some key aspects of conventional cutting. Cheap compression. In conventional cutting, the cutting tool compresses the chips into the cut, resulting in a better surface finish on the top side of the workpiece. This can be advantageous when working with materials that tend to splinter or chip easily, such as laminates or veneers. Cutting forces. Conventional cutting generates higher cutting forces compared to climb cutting. This can be beneficial when working with denser or harder materials as the higher cutting forces help to penetrate and cut through the material effectively. Safety considerations. When using conventional cutting, it's important to pay attention to potential workpiece movement or lifting. The cutting forces in conventional cutting can cause the workpiece to move or lift requiring appropriate fixturing or clamping to ensure safe and accurate machining. Now that we have explored the differences between climb cutting and conventional cutting on a CNC router, let's discuss some factors that should be considered when choosing the appropriate technique. Material type The type of material being machined plays a crucial role in determining the preferred cutting technique. Softer and more delicate materials may benefit from climb cutting, while denser or more prone to chipping materials may be better suited for conventional cutting. Surface finish Consider the desired surface finish of the workpiece. Climb cutting tends to produce smoother surface finishes, while conventional cutting may be preferred when a slightly rougher surface finish is acceptable or desired for specific applications. Tooling and machine capability Evaluate the capabilities of your CNC router, including the rigidity of the machine, the quality of the cutting tools, and the available spindle power. These factors can influence the effectiveness of both climb cutting and conventional cutting techniques. The choice between climb cutting and conventional cutting on a CNC router depends on various factors such as material type, desired surface finish, and machine capabilities. Both techniques have their advantages and considerations, and it's important to understand the specific requirements of your project to determine the most suitable approach. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.